do you know all the countries in the world? And do you know the, at least the basics about all of them? Well, I didn't. And that's why I did some research and I prepared this small series to give you, let's say, a brief overview of the most important data, at least on their political systems. And today it is about Tajikistan. The official name of the country is Republic of Tajikistan. And the form of government is a presidential republic with a bicameral parliament. The head of state is President Emomali Ramon, appointed on November 16th in 1994, re-election in 1999, 2006, 2013 and 2020. The head of government is Prime Minister Kohir Rasulzoda, appointed on November 30th in 2013 from the VDPT. The foreign minister is Siro Jidin Muridin, appointed on November 30th in 2013 also and also from the VDPT. On the Human Development Index they rank 125th place. Tajikistan has been independent since 1991 and is a presidential republic with a bicameral parliament. The country is divided into three administrative regions, so-called oblasts, Shukt with the capital Kujant, Gono Badakhshan um, and uh, Shorok and Katlon Bokhta, which in turn are divided into rayons, while the republican area of Dushanbe is administered directly by the central government. Emomali Ramon has been the president of the Republic of Tajikistan, as I said, since 1994. He bears the title leader of the nation. On October 11th in 2020, he was re-elected for a fifth term with 90.92% of the vote. The parliament, the lower house, has 63 seats, 47 of which were held in the last election on March 1st, 2020 by the People's Democratic Party of Tajikistan under the leadership of President Ramon. The electoral system remained largely unchanged compared to the previous parliamentary election in Tajikistan in 2015. The turnout was 86.4%. According to the OSCE um, reports, the election clearly fell short of democratic standards, as you probably thought were the numbers. The formerly strongest opposition party, the Islamic Rebirth Party, was banned in September 2015. Radio and television are state-owned and the print media have only low circulation figures. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.